Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we got Insane Willy Wonka Experience by this nigga named Danny Casales. The vid got 2 million views with 6,000 comments. All my reactions are live. I don't fake none of my shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into it. Willy Wonka Experience Gone Wrong in Glasgow, Scotland has taken the internet by storm and i love it i don't think i've ever they made a real chocolate factory what the fuck ever in all my life seen such an impressive and inspiring dumpster fire okay, of an event i'm getting it now so this nigga went to the scotland chocolate factory i thought this nigga was gonna make some shit like make a chocolate factory and this shit got two million views let's see what happened when this nigga went i'm interested let me get the fuck off my phone it's happening it is just mwah. It is just perfect. This event, which was supposed to give kids the chance to experience Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, was so bad, it prompted parents to call the police to get justice for the horrors they had witnessed. Police what the fuck? I thought it was going to be good. Police were called to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after family showed up to an empty warehouse. What the fuck? The event reportedly charged $40 per entry. That's per- The shit was empty? person by the way advertised with ai art and said it would be a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn and oh what in so they pay 40 dollars for an empty warehouse with ai shit i'll be mad as fuck enchanting surprises they found kids were all dressed up and crying waiting for what they thought was going to be a magical experience yeah that's the surprise no magic here just sadness the surprise was them crying if they called the police, that's how you know it was bad. Because they didn't even do that in the actual Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What the fuck? Factory, and kids were dying in that movie. And honestly, it does look like it was terrifying. Take a look at some of the images of the abandoned warehouse that parents had to spend $40 to gain access to. Okay, here we have- They need their ass whooped. Who the fuck been, who the fuck idea was this? This is insane. This don't even look like a chocolate factory. What the hell? Have some sort of chocolate fountain uh, with murky brown water floating in it. We have one bouncy castle. Who that eat the asshole? You telling me this is forty dollars? That can fit like three kids. Giant empty space filled with table and chairs. <laughs> you probably fuck no. You're thinking there must be something pretty good to eat here with all these table and chairs. Probably some pretty tasty chocolate, right? Hell no. You telling me this shit is $40? No. There was no chocolate at this event. These photos look like a crime scene, dude. These look like Willy Wonka had to flee the country after the <laughs> FDA found fentanyl in his chocolate. So he has to post up in an abandoned factory to keep the business going while the feds are after it. <laughs> you got this lovely scene. I think that the size of the where- They need their ass whooped. Fuck it. This don't even look like the Willy Wonka movie. Where the Oompa Loompas at? This shit is fucked up. Her house really screwed them over, honestly. If it was a smaller room, things wouldn't- it wouldn't look so empty. There would still be nothing to do there, but it wouldn't look so sad. In a way, seeing this photography light in front of this, like, two dollar Candyland backdrop makes me feel kind of sad for the people who put on this event. Like, oh, you really thought people were gonna want to take pictures in front of this shit. Of course not. <laughs> no. I'll be mad as fuck, bro. $40 for an empty ass warehouse with no kids? Oh, if two parents brought two kids to this event, it would cost $160 and you're getting this. I think I get why they called the police, honestly, dude. If I was promised some kind of fun Willy Wonka experience for the kids and then showed up to this <laughs> foggy warehouse, Fuck no, what the hell? I would think I was about to be murdered in some kind of Willy Wonka themed Saw movie. And if that's not enough, wait until you see the nightmarish characters they had running around this place. So this is one of the most famous pictures to come out of the whole- She looks like she does meth, what the fuck? Oh hell, this is the Oompa Loompa? Her clothes falling off, her eyes look fucked up. Is she doing drugs? This is an Oompa Loompa, obviously. A lot of people are focusing on the facial expression she's making. I'm saying her eyes look fucked up. Yeah, they had to call the police on these. Making in this Hell picture, no. she looks exasperated. Fuck no. 
And oh, honestly, I don't blame her. This has to be like the worst acting gig she's ever had. As far as I know, this actor wasn't putting on the event. She was just hired to be there. She's probably dealing with crying children, pissed off parents. Also, I'm pretty sure canonically the Oompa Loompas are enslaved by Willy Wonka, so the facial expression makes sense in that context too. What I'm actually more concerned with is everything else going on in this That's photo. What, what? Like, what the fuck's up with all these chemicals and shit with the chocolate? Why is there so much smoke? I'm not super familiar with the process of making chocolate, but I'm 100% sure there should not be that much smoke happening. No wonder she's making that face, dude. She's high as hell. And I love all the mismatched chemistry gear she's got strewn about the table. Beakers, <gasps> vials, this mysterious elixir locked up in a little glass box. A quill? Oompa Loompas take notes like wizards from the 1300s? I didn't know that. All right, now the other two characters that were at this thing, I gotta introduce you to at the same time because they're both in the same video clip. So let me introduce you to Willy Wonka and the unknown. Oh, let's see what is Willy Wonka. What is that? It's the unknown. Man, what, what the fuck? <laughs> they need that. Whoever run this event needs to get sued. Hell no. The hell? Dude, fuck everything else. I would call the police based off of that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Fuck no. Who is that demon? Surprising twists and turns was right in the advertisement. I would not expect to take my kids to a Willy Wonka experience and have them be accosted by a shadow figure. I can tell you that right now. It's terrifying that Willy Wonka says, what is that, when he sees it. What is that? Like, dude, this is <laughs> your chocolate factory. You don't even know what that is? <laughs> Whoever opened this event need they ass whooped. We are so fucked. Here's a different clip of some other kids experiencing the unknown. As the suit player of a scary face. Oh my god. Scare the great unknown. Wonderful. I love it. And his dad smiling and shit. I'll be mad as hell. Why the fuck is Halloween in the Willy Wonka factory? Where the damn chocolate at? Fantastic. What? Yeah, that's the correct reaction to seeing the unknown. Thank what you. is that? Thank you, little boy. You know what the fuck it is. Wonka says it. This kid says it. I'm saying it. Also, I love that baby's reaction. That was like a primal instinct to make that sound. Humans have evolved for millions of years to make that sound when they see the unknown. According to some reports that I've read from the event, the unknown is supposed to be an evil chocolate maker who hides in the walls and scares little children. Is he a part of the actual Wonka story? No. Was it advertised that there would be a child scaring monster at this event? No. But speaking of the advertising for the event, one of the most insane parts of this whole story is that this company that made this event, House of Illuminati, apparently used exclusively AI generated images to advertise this event. Surprise. That shit is crazy, bro. The website is still up, so you can go and check it out for yourself. Welcome to Willy's Chocolate Experience. Dive into the whimsical of Willy's Chocolate shit Experience. Looks so Ex good too. Why? The nigga used AI to make this shit look so great, but it's fucked up. What the hell? Exclamation point, comma. So you've got images like this, which at first look like some kind of fun candy land, but then the closer you look, it doesn't really make any sense. Like, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> that supposed to be a bunny? Who the hell is that? I don't like the looks <laughs> of it. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? These things. But then you get images <laughs> like this advertising the Twilight Tunnel, which are so clearly AI generated, it makes you wonder if the whole event was being run by an AI. Because Get your ass off my screen, bro. Fuck this game, bro. Weak ass game. Sorry ass game. My nigga, I fuck with your video, but don't put weak ass ass like that in my in my reaction, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Because how could a human not notice that there are so many typos in all of these images? You got dim tight, depractions, ungurable, featuring dodjection and swide. Then you've got ensuring entertainment, which of course includes cat gagatting, karchi tons, and a passadice of sweet teats. And on top of the website being seemingly designed by AI, apparently all of the actor's lines were too, which we know thanks to this video posted by the actor who played Willy Wonka. I'm gonna be poking a little bit of fun at the event, but I wanted to say, before I start, but I feel for anyone who bought tickets to this. Man, get your ass, your ass is getting run by somebody controlling. You ought to be on some type of drugs. I know you wasn't happy when you did this, this sorry. This shit was in an empty ass. Warehouse. People who are expecting a 
magical chocolate experience. People who are unfortunately captured by the unknown, we hope you are found soon. So the first red flag for me was when I was cast as Willy Wonka. Yeah, who the fuck pays y'all? Did you, t how much did they pay you, nigga? How much did they pay this nigga? Um, anyone who looks at me and thinks Willy Wonka and not Umpa Lumpa is out of their mind. I give off major Umpa Lumpa energy. <laughs> You definitely do, my nigga. You definitely I got do. cast as the part on the Thursday um, and was told that I needed to learn the script for the Friday. So I said, no problem, send it over. The script was 15 pages, monologue, pretty much, of AI-generated gibberish. You know what I'm kind of curious about? If the script was AI-generated, where did the unknown come from? Did the event organizers just ask chat GPT to generate a script about Willy Wonka's he had to do the dumb ad the the fucking organizer had to use chat GPT for this whole event cuz who the fuck is the unknown my nigga have y'all ever seen the unknown in the chocolate factory who the fuck is that it's chocolate factory and it just threw that shit in cuz that's terrifying chat GPT was like hmm planning an event for kids huh I know just the thing to add. Don't worry, I'm great with kids. So I'll give you one of the lines from the script. Uh, I'm not gonna do the Willy Wonka voice because I think I've embarrassed myself enough. But one of my favorite lines was, there is a man who lives here. His name is not known. So we call him the unknown. Get the fuck out, bro. Whoever, whoever posted this shit need their ass will belong with him for doing this shit. I want to figure out how much they paid this nigga. Though. The unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. The fuck? What? We were told on the uh, experience to hand out a jelly bean, one jelly bean uh, per child, and a quarter of a cup of Tesco's own brand lemonade. One jelly bean? That's what I was going to say. Who the fuck is taking one jelly bean? One jelly bean? That smoke the Oompa Loompa had to endure and she was just back there cranking out one jelly bean? <laughs> Maybe the- I feel bad for her ass, bro. I feel so bad. Unknown was introduced as some way to canonically explain why there was no chocolate at the event. Sorry kids, there's no chocolate here today. An evil chocolate maker showed up and he shot the Oompa Loompas. They're dead now. So one of the Oompa Loompas from the event also posted a TikTok kind of poking fun at the whole experience. But the one actor we <laughs> haven't heard from yet is the one that we all obviously want to talk to. The Oompa Loompa, my nigga. The Oompa Loompa. I want to know what the fuck she was feeling. Unknown. Unknown. We need to know your story. What was your inspiration? No, I want to know about the Oompa Loompa. Fuck the unknown, nigga for your performance. How did you get into character? The unknown must have had the worst time of any of the actors because like you got hired to do a performance of Willy Wonka and you got cast as a character that's not in Willy Wonka. Just like an evil spirit that lives in mirrors. And then your job for an entire day is to scare and confuse unsuspecting children who have no clue what they're in for. Every time a kid came around that corner, you just know the unknown was like, God damn it, I gotta traumatize another kid. The Oompa I know that nigga was pissed, bro. Oompa Loompa from the famous photo ended up doing an interview with Vulture where she just. I wanna see what she said. What did she say? Describes the moment that children saw her for the first time, and it is very sad. Tell me about the moment as the kids started coming in. Did you see the innocence leave their eyes? They were quite upset. I think they were confused. I'll be. I'm pretty sure she's depressed as fuck. I'll be mad as fuck. I wouldn't know how much they got paid because I'm pretty sure they ain't get paid shit. But it was more the parents. I just looked at them and I think they must have known when they looked at me. An older couple said to me, I really, really hope you get paid well for this. That's what I'm thinking, bro. I hope she got paid well. This sounds like she's describing people witnessing the wreckage of a tsunami or something. It's crazy. Each individual person that laid eyes on her had to take a second to mourn. When you say walk through, how long are we talking here to walk through this event? I'm telling you, this would have taken about two minutes. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. Dude, honestly, that's kind of smart because like two minutes isn't even long enough to process like the first stages of grief. You're getting these people in and out before they can even realize they got scammed, you know? They don't even know what the fuck just they, happened. They really did get scammed, bro. That is fucked up. 
after the police were called, people started getting refunded, the story blew up. The director of the company who put on this event did eventually apologize. I'm really shocked that the event had fallen short of the ex- My nigga, you ain't shocked. You gave him an empty ass warehouse. The fuck is wrong with this nigga? Expectations of people on paper. Yeah, dude, on paper the event was awesome. No yeah, you made you use AI for all that shit. Fuck out of here. No nigga. chocolate, abandoned warehouse, smoky oompa. Just like the movie. There was every intention to hold the event from the pictures. Despite not being the best light, hopefully you'll be able to see that there was every intention to hold the event. No, we know you were planning on holding the event. That's kind of the problem. <laughs> I think a lot of people wish you didn't. Unfortunately, there were unforeseen circumstances and the event didn't come to light. He's like, we were not expecting that evil chocolate maker to show up. The unknown ruined the event. These issues were technological in nature. My nigga, nothing was technological, nigga. You plant that full shit out, my nigga. Can't stand bitch ass niggas like that, bro. They just do anything, bro. Money, bro. Hmm? We had ordered a holographic paper that didn't arrive on time. The holographic technology in itself is absolutely fabulous technology. Why you just shut that bitch down, bro? You was gonna let people go to a fucked up ass place? My nigga. Shut that bitch down, my nigga. And unfortunately, there was a delay in postage. Holographic paper? No, I don't think that was the problem with the event, actually. The lack of holographic paper? Look, I don't know what holographic paper is, but based on his reliance on ChatGPT and MidJourney, I do not trust his opinion of absolutely fabulous technology. So I'm just gonna go ahead and assume the holographic paper would not have helped. Well, gang, this is surely an event that will go down in the history books. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my- You get a like for me. You get a subscribe, that was a good ass video. But that shit done pissed me the fuck off. I think he needs his ass whooped after that shit. But y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'ma see y'all in the next reaction video.